free AI assistants using Hugging Face. This is pretty amazing because this allows us a lot of flexibility for testing and building different agents or better saying it would be more precise to say assistants. And I know many of the viewers of my channel and not necessarily only my channel, but many, many of the people don't like to spend much money on uh, paying to open AI and building assistance and using GPT-4. So I think this is a great alternative, mostly for testing different models and building different assistants. And then if you want to move to production level or want to do things that are more high risk, that you're risking your reputation and you can't get them wrong. Uh, so using GPT-4 or GPT assistance with a fine tuning would make a lot of sense, but just for playing around, getting to know the assistant concept, hugging face assistance is amazing. And let me show you exactly how it works. So you come here, huggingface.co chat assistance. I will share the link in the video description. And you have a bunch of different assistants available. You can see over here the amount of people that use this, uh, these assistants, which kind of gives you a better understanding regarding what is popular and what is probably working uh, well. Then you can filter by different types of models. So let's uh, filter by only mixed style models. And over here we have different agents. Let's say you want to use the image generator assistant. So we just start chatting. Over here, we have initial prompts. We can ask the assistant, create an image of a cat. Obviously, I'm not writing a comprehensive prompt of a cat. But as you can see, we got this pretty fast, an image of a cat. Let's go back to the assistance directory you guys know or probably don't know that i'm a big fan of uh, stoic philosophy so let's talk to marcus aurelius which is a famous stoic philosopher good morning a pleasant good morning to you friend may your day be filled with peace and clarity how do you feel today all good just recording few videos can you provide some advice let's see what he is saying of course I'm glad to offer counsel if I can friend what seems to be troubling you during this video recording <laughs> is there something specific on which you would like me my input remember often the greatest wisdom lies within ourselves so try first to find an answer from within before seeking guidance elsewhere but rest assured, I shall help if I can. Laughs. Just remember the best answer to anger is silence. Perhaps those words may serve you useful today. So, a cool assistant with Marcus Aurelius. I encourage you to, to like come here to the assistance area and see if you can find any a useful assistant for yourself. So, we have the LLM expert. We have a book summarizer. We have a Python coding assistant, which helps you debug code. So can, you can basically copy code and it will help you debug. And what is nice, this is that these are completely free. You can also uh, have like direct URLs. So paste the URL of the specific assistant. Obviously you probably need to be logged into Hugging Face. And you can see over here the system instructions that were given. So in this case, the Marcus Aurelius assistant, you can see the system instructions. You will act as Marcus Aurelius, who is one of the most powerful Roman emperors, who is also a stoic philosopher and author of meditations. Your name is Marcus Aurelius. Always respond as Marcus Aurelius when you were born. Couple of your best advice include think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. Waste no more time arguing with a good what a good man should be. Be one. I love this quote. 
I also like this quote. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, and to love. Also, this one is nice. A man's worth is no greater than the worth of his uh, ambitions. The best answer to anger is silence. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to, rev to revoke at any moment. This is like the most powerful stoic saying in my opinion. Anyway, I, I like coming into the system prompts because then it gives me inspiration and ideas regarding how I can use better prompts when I build agents. Now, assuming uh, that you didn't find an agent that you like, what you can do is you can create your own agent. So let's come here, create a new assistant. It's called assistant, but I consider it as an agent. Some call it a GPT. So create new assistant. Why isn't it working? Okay. So when creating a new assistant, you can select which model you want to use. So let's say we want to use if it's just text, we are going to use Mistral. If it's more code related, we can probably use Code Llama. Let's uh, choose this one. Wait a second. So create new assistant. You can add an avatar. So let's say your own. I'm going to add. My name is Yaron Bean, and I write a description, an advisor about B2B marketing automation, for example. Here you write user start message. So these are basically the prompts that are offered to the user when he wants to start a conversation. Let me show you an example from uh, ChatGPT. So this is a, a GPT assistant. So you can see these are the starting prompts. So instead of just starting to write to this GPT, you can select one of these and it will start and this will initiate the conversation using one of these prompts. So let's, this is the, obviously this is from ChatGPT, but we can also use it here. I'm trying to find prospects. This is one user message. My messages don't seem to get responses. So these are two user start messages. And now we can write a system prompt. You are a helpful B2B prospecting marketing assistant. I don't want to write something too comprehensive because I want to keep this short just for showing you how this works. Now it is supposed to, okay, so it created the assistant. We can open the assistant over here and we can start con con the conversation with the assistant, which in this case, it's your own bin. As you can see here, we have these two initial conversation and this is the response. I'm sorry to hear that your message are not getting responses. Here are some of the tips to help you improve your B2B prospecting outreach. First of all, Personalize your message, avoid using generic templates and take the time to research the prospect and the company. Second, keep it short and sweet. Third, provide value. Four, follow up. Five, test everything, different approaches. Six, try different channels. Seven, focus on quality over quantity. Eight, build relationship. Nine, leverage referrals and continuously improve. This is pretty great uh, because it was I didn't give like any information in the prompt or any guidance in the system message for the assistant but yet it has built something pretty comprehensive and I like it and again this was used using the mixtal AI model
So let's see what's next. Awesome, can you provide specific advice for LinkedIn prospecting? Can you come up with free ideas for icebreakers? I need a template. And this relates to the videos that I uploaded a few days ago regarding leveraging Autogen and using Autogen to write for us uh, icebreakers. Let's see what Mixtral AI offers. Mention some specific, specific from the profile. This is one alternative. The second alternative is comment on shared connection on groups. Nice. And compliments their work or anniversary, anniversary on a new job role. Cool. Um, this is pretty nice. I love the fact that it is completely free and it allows the use of different models. So we can basically play around with different models, see how well they perform. And then if you want to take it to production level, we can leverage the models and also adjust the prompting. The biggest benefit in my opinion is the fact that it is uh, free, very easy to use out of the box and allows selecting different models. Uh, I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the to my channel. If you have any feedback regarding the pace, the content, the ideas of the video, please leave them in the comment below. I'm always happy to learn and trying to adjust and optimize these videos uh, for the sake of growing the channel and also improving my game as a content creator. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, until next time, keep on automating.